Have you ever wondered what would happen if you intentionally played records at the wrong speed? Today, we're going to find out. Hey friends, welcome back to Vinylize. I'm Jarrett New, and today we're going to answer the very, very simple question of what would happen if I played my records at the wrong speed? So basically, if we've got an album that's meant to be played at 33 and 1 3rd RPM, kind of like the records you see on the wall behind me, and we play these at 45 or 78 RPM, what's going to happen? So we're going to talk about that today, but first, today's song of the day is Red Right Hand by Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. And if you have a suggestion for a song of the day, post in the comments down below and you might see it in a future video. All right, so playing records at the wrong speed was actually a question I got recently from Noah in Bluebell, Pennsylvania, who's a fan of the show. So I figured we'd just kind of take a moment to talk about this really, really simple subject. Now, basically the most important thing that you should know right off the bat is that it will not damage your records to play them at a faster speed. So a 33 record played at 45 or 78 won't damage the grooves provided that you're using the right stylus or record needle to begin with. Now, what will cause damage is if you have one of these older, 10 inch shellac records and you play these with a modern stylus that's not meant to play them. So basically that'll damage both the needle and the grooves of the record and that's something you definitely want to try and avoid. Overall, if you are going to play these older shellac records, get yourself a special cartridge like the Grado 78E and then you'll be ready to play most of these older shellac discs. Now, getting back to the speed issue, if you play a record faster than it's meant to be played at, two things are going to start to happen. First, the pitch gets higher, which makes the singer's voice kind of sound like a chipmunk. And second, the music just gets faster, obviously. So basically, instead of like normal music, you're going to hear hyper chipmunks. Now, on the flip side, if you play a 78 record at 33 and 1 3rd RPM, you get the exact opposite effect. Instead of chipmunks, you're going to get Barry White in slow motion. So the pitch gets lower and the music gets slower. So basically, if you want slow-mo Barry White or chipmunks, then you can mess around with the speed changes and kind of see how it affects the sound of your music. Now, to demonstrate my point, we're gonna play this vintage Million Dollar McDonald's record, and we're gonna see how changing the speed affects the overall sound. Good morning, class. Today, we're going to learn the McDonald's menu song and give a listener out there a chance to win a million dollars. So, repeat after me. Repeat after me. No, no. No, no. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Here goes. Here goes. Big Mac McDeal to your quarter pounder with some cheese filet, a fish, a hamburger, a cheeseburger, a happy meal, McNuggets, tasty golden fresh, regular, a larger size of salad, shepherd garden, or a chicken salad, oriental, big breakfast, egg muffin, hot hot cakes and sausage, maybe biscuits, bacon, egg and cheese, or sausage, Danish hash, mushroom, for dessert, hot apple pies and sunny three varieties of sausage, crunchy kinds of shakes and chocolate, chip cookies, and a So let's try again. Big Mac McDeal to your quarter pounder with some cheese. Big Mac McDeal to your quarter pounder with some cheese. Filet a fish, a hamburger, a cheeseburger, a happy meal. Filet a fish, a hamburger, a cheeseburger, a happy meal. You're on a roll. Keep going. Big Mac is tasty, golden, French fries, regular, a larger size of salad. Chef. Isn't that weird? So basically, the exact same thing is going to happen with any record you want to play. Now, I hardly ever do this because I just don't want to hear my music distorted in any way. But there is one occasion where I can actually see this being useful. If you're playing a lot of beat-driven electronic music and it doesn't have any vocals and you want to kind of mess around with the tempo to see how it sounds, then I guess you could definitely use this method to speed it up or slow it down to your heart's content. Also, if you're a DJ and you're sampling music, this might be yet another creative tool that you can kind of keep in your back pocket. But for the rest of us, I just recommend playing music at its native speed. So as I said, this was a very, very simple subject with a very simple answer, but I also feel like it is a legitimate question that a lot of record collectors have when they're first getting into this hobby. So I just wanted to kind of clear everything up in this video. Now, what do you guys think about all this? Have you ever kind of experimented with the speed changes or do you just play things normally like 
I do. Let us all know down in the comments below, and if you love all things vinyl related, be sure to subscribe and smack that little notification bell so you won't miss the new videos. And most importantly, friends, have an awesome day and keep spinning that vinyl.